Mother Earth has a message she wants to share with us right now, and it's partly in preparation and being ready for deeper connection and co-creation with nature and her, um, especially with the approaching doorway of the summer solstice. This is a very powerful shift for um, us, our bodies, and the earth. We're all rising in vibration. So welcome to my channel. I'm Camilla Blossom. Happy that you're here. Um, I am a spiritual mentor, uh, a land alchemist, and a medicine woman. And I work under um, Earth Magic is the name of my um, company. So if you're new to the channel, um, welcome to exploring these um, beautiful nature elemental uh, magical qualities that are both visible and invisible. So you may have been experiencing some of the, uh, the wild ride sometimes of this energy shifting that we're in. Um, it's bringing up a lot for clearing, for completion, for closing up old chapters and old relationships, um, things that we really don't need to engage with anymore. Um, I was working with my Patreon community of Earth Guardians, and I decided to ask Mother Earth um, a question, and it really brought forward some kind of simple ideas, but they are very important and powerful. So I wanna share those with you right now. So I asked Mother Earth, what does she want us to know, to learn, to open to at this time, especially as Earth Guardians. We really all are Earth Guardians. We're here to nurture our planet. And so her response was move deeper into your body move deeper into your body. Embodiment, that's the word for it. So she's asking us to embody all of our consciousness, all of our spirituality, all of the mastery, all of the teachings, all of the gifts, um, all of the awareness, all of the sacred knowledge, to really bring all of this from spirit, from energy, and bring it all the way in to the physicality and energy body. And what she explained that was so potent about this, I mean, we know the idea of um, when we're in trauma or when we're experiencing hardship, we can leave our body, especially as sensitives and empaths. So I think most of us are familiar with the idea of, yeah, we want to get in our heart. We want to stay in our body. And it's not always that easy to do, of course. It can be very uncomfortable. But the more that we can focus on our inner body experience and be all the way in and feel what our heart is feeling, to feel those feelings that might be uncomfortable, the sensations, the places in our body, the pain, the whatever. If we can be in this presence, this is the presence I take people into when I do um, soul healing work. And it's really about going into the body and fully accepting and loving and being in your own presence. And when we can be in our own presence, then we can be in the presence of the earth and nature. We can be in the presence for others. We can be in the presence for our community, for the collective. So that building our sense of presence, of being of the moment is a practice. It's an every moment practice, right? But what earth said was when we are fully anchored in the physical, in other words, we're grounded, our energy is fully embodied. We are it. We're not giving it over to the angels or to the fairies or whoever you work with. We are it. We are claiming and embodying our gifts and who we are. 
So the earth says when we are anchored in the physical body, she says, then she can access us and our energy and co-create with us and work with us and connect. And so for those of you who are really wanting to connect more deeply with nature or sea fairies or work with elementals or learn about your own nature self, the more present you can be, however that is, um, the more you will connect with her and co-create. And that's what she's asking of us. So this is an important reminder, especially as we move through this solstice, summer solstice gateway, I'm getting a sense there's kind of, um, I don't know if I'd say urgency, but a reminder, like the more you can get in your body, even if it's not the most comfortable place, the better you're going to be in every situation of your life. And it really is, like I say, a practice. And the more you can do it, the more you will allow things to just naturally surface and release and move and flow. It's like, that's how we transform is in presence. So just being present with that feeling of discomfort, just being present with um, whatever you're experiencing is gonna create automatically transformation and shifting. But you, you need to be patient with that. You know, it could take five minutes. It could take longer. So she's asking us to be embodied spirit. She's asking us to be in connection, conversation, communion. And what I recognize too is when she's asking for this embodiment that humans be embodied, she's really showing us that this is how we co-create. This is how we manifest. This is how we create the life we want. This is how we connect with the fairies. This is how we build a career that we want and create wealth in our life. So this message has a lot of depth to it when I kept going deeper into it and um, exploring that with, um, with others. And just another um, little bit about embodiment. Um, it really is about like being a master, being in your full power is being embodied. And what I've noticed too is when I started my path um, decades ago now, <laughs> 30 so years, there's a lot of reliance on external spirits and beings and um, to help me and feel powerful. And, and I recognize that, that as I built up my work and worked with all these different elementals and spirits and um, cosmic beings, that it was really showing me my power, that my power was in, because of my relationships with these powerful beings, they were helping me recognize my true power. But then you get a point to a point where you can't be relying on those external beings or others or teachers or gurus for your power. You have to hold it yourself. And that's really what that word means as well, is when you recognize you're it, you are the power, you are embodying your own mastery. And yeah, you can have your angels and your ascended masters and your guides, of course, their beautiful help and, um, and guidance, but don't put it put on them that they're who are making you powerful or they're the ones that can make things right because that's just putting it outside of yourself again. So recognizing they're here for you to take all that you've learned. It's like all the flowers and trees I've worked with over many years, all the fairies and elementals. Like I embody that medicine now. I don't need even the tools. I don't need those fairies necessarily. Like I am it, I carry that medicine. I hold it, it's in me. I think you get the idea. Yeah, so it's about grounding your spirituality into your body simple as that. And um, 
And yeah, just to remember, this is how we move forward. This is how we create a new earth. This is how we create magic. This is how we create beauty. This is how we restore and renew the earth. This is how we heal ourselves. And um, this is the passage that we're going through. So I hope that was helpful for you um, in preparation for the summer solstice. And I wanted to let you know as well that I will be doing an online event. So if you'd like to join me for the summer solstice, I planned the event on Thursday, June 20th at Pacific time, one to three. And I didn't know that was exactly the window of the solstice. So that was like really wonderful to recognize. We'll be right at the doorway during the event. It's online. I'll put the link below and it's called the solstice tree journey and light transmission. And it will be an opportunity to work with um, some of these ideas of embodiment, of being in our power, of clearing away um, what is not supporting us so that we can walk through this powerful, powerful doorway into the summer solstice and the new energies um, in a way that feels very light and empowering and joyful. So I hope you'll join me there. And other than that, thanks for listening and please um, like, comment, share all that and subscribe. I hope you have a beautiful day and a beautiful solstice. Thank you.